Merry Christmas. Hyvää joulua. My name is Eleanor Ostman. And you are? I'm Shirley Anderson. And we are the two Finn cooks. Sola and I have known each other for a very long time. She came from Finland. I'm an American-born Finn. And uh, she uh, is, has been a leading light in cooking in the Twin Cities area. I was a food writer. She was the cook. And we had hoped to see so many people from the Finlandia Foundation this year as we were traveling the country on behalf of the Finlandia Foundation as lecturers of the year. However, the virus made us have to cancel so many appearances. But fortunately, the Finlandia Foundation has extended our term into 2021 and maybe even beyond. And we are available to come to your hometowns to your chapters and do cooking demonstrations and talks. So we're all hoping that the virus goes away and we can come your way. So we're here today to give you that little bit of a commercial to tell you why we're here. And then we wanted to show you how to make a very classic Finnish recipe, Christmas recipe. Now we're going to be making rosalie salad. Yeah, that's it. Which very typical in Finland. Very typical. My mother, uh, whose uh, parents came to the United States from the western side of Finland, made a Rosalie salad, but she didn't put herring in it. But your ancestors or your family was from where? East side of uh, Finland, and we using herring a lot. And I love herring with my Rosalie. And I'm going to show you later on, you know, how to put that together. Everything's ready. So it's a, a, an example of what Sola can do with cooking, whether it's Finnish cooking or any kind of cooking. Now, we first met when you had the Deco restaurant downtown St. Paul. And after that, what happened in your career? Yeah, years been go by and I, my business been growing. You know, I uh, also developing a uh, Scandinavian bakery called Tasta Scandinavia. We were using lots of Finnish original recipes with cakes and cookies and you name it. And uh, also, I develop a Finnish bistro where we have typical Finnish pastries. And you know, everything's still moving along. I retired, but my recipes still continue. Well, you retired from your business, the Deco Catering. That's right. Which was the leading catering company in Minnesota. She cooked for kings, the Dalai Lama, even President Obama. But uh, now you're retired, and in retirement, you wanted to do a cookbook. Yeah, and that's how we have a cookbook is right here. Celebrations to Remember, which is based on Soyla's career as a caterer. She's uh, the one who had all the recipes and the photographs, but since English is not her first language, and I'm a writer, I did the actual words for the book. So we want to show you today uh, some special, the special Christmas recipe that show a chapter from our book that's called Finnish Christmas. And there's her uh, sourdough rye bread, there's captain's herring, there's all kinds of recipes, and one of them is the Rosalie salad that we're going to show you how to make now. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to make it that Finnish uh, rosoli. That's a very popular with Christmas time, almost every house in Finland. What I'm going to using, I have red beets, what I boil it ahead of time, and I measure with six cups, ready sap red beets. That will feed a lot of people. Yeah, but this rosoli can last, it's better to make it uh, uh, plenty because you can do so many things with this and that can last a week. You have six cups with the uh, red beets. That's the main ingredient, that red beets. Okay, now I have potatoes, but I boiling, cut it, little cubes. I have three cups with the boiled potatoes. After that I add pickles. Uh, dill pickles. I have a one cup with that. Okay. 
my favorite herring. That's a regular pickle herring, and that is a two cups with herring, some small pieces. After that, I adding up, you know, with two cups with carrots. You have a nice color also, you know, with the radish with the colors here together. And they're pre-cooked, pre-boiled. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, I have an apple, one cup with granny sweet apple. I put a little lemon juice to make sure it's not getting dark. And after that, I have one cup with the sub onions. And now we mix it up together. And I And if you like to add, you know, with the pepper and uh, we have to test that salt because we have herring that for a bit salt and same and pickles. Now we add a little bit sugar. I have a half a cup with sugar. That sugar, you know, give it to, you know, with the balance, you know, with this uh, and a little bit vinegar. White vinegar, half a cup of white vinegar. And uh, we can uh, mix it up together and we can test it a little bit, you know, with how things taste. And that is a really this last, you know, with even better following day when things standing together and flavors coming very good together. And, you know, color getting also more red with red beets. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to finishing up that rosoli with the made it special resin. I have whipped cream, I have two cups of whipped cream and powder sugar, I whip it up together. And how I make it kind of nice uh, reddish color, I have liquid with red beets. And I adding up that here and mix it up that together and look at that. We have a beautiful, beautiful color. You know, that's a natural coloring and also it's very tasty. You have red beet juice, powder sugar and whipped cream. And now I'm going to put a little pastry back where we are uh, Pipe it up a little bit decoration over and that's very easy. Anybody can make that kind of salad dressing and using, you know, with the, make it a little vesti and tasty also salad. If you don't have a pastry bag, you can take uh, wax paper. Oh yeah. And make just a little, wrap it in a cone and just make a little. Absolutely. Oh, but this is a professional touch here. Well, it's kind of fun, you know. And you can pipe it up little things around your salad. And same time, you know, you have a little flavor there to adding up. Okay, bon appetit. I hope you like our <laughs> story. <laughs> what, what do the Finns say instead of bon appetit? Hyvä ruoka haluaa. Okay, yes, she yeah. said it. <laughs> Well, there you have the grocery salad from uh, our book, from the Christmas section of uh, Celebrations to Remember. And we hope we can come to your hometowns and, and chapters and uh, do more recipes from this book. It's a wonderful collection of her best catering recipes. And uh, fortunately, we cut down the portions from 200 to home size, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> But um, we really have a lot to tell. Some of you may remember seeing us at FinFest in Minneapolis, and we are at FinFest in Detroit, giving a class of salmon soup and uh, Karelian pies. Karelian pies, hands-on demonstration. And open-face canopies. Open-face canopies, yes. So we are willing to do that for your chapter. And we have many stories to tell about Soila's career, her illustrious career as a caterer and a restaurateur. So we hope that you will contact us 
there are so many places that we would have been and we hope to return to, and there are other places that hadn't booked us as yet, but please do, we are available. Have books, we'll travel. <laughs> and uh, if you care to reach us, you can do it through the Finlandia Foundation, Hilary Vertinen, or you can contact me directly. My name is Eleanor Ostman, and my email is e a o s t m a n at a o l dot com. So I hope we've enjoyed this little demonstration, and we hope to see you in the new year. And right now we'll just say Happy New Year and Hyvä uutta vuotta. Thank you so much. Thank you. Kiitos. Kiitos, kiitos.